Hello YouTubers, subscribers, friends, welcome to my channel. I'm going to show you how to clean this whatever this is off of this toaster oven glass. And that noise you're hearing is my wife's new coffee maker machine. I'm going to do this the natural way. Okay, what you want to do is get you some uh, ash from a fire pit or a barbecue grill. This has been sitting here for months. Okay, you got me a spoon. Don't need a lot. That should all turn into a powder and we'll take it inside. Get you a paper towel, get it nice and wet. Nice and wet. All right, we get that wet paper towel. Let's wet this down. As you can see, show you. It's not gonna come off just with the water. We'll get this ash, dip the wet paper towel into the ash, and then just swirl it around. I'm not pressing really hard, I'm just swirling it. You can use like a, what is that, Esso pad or Brillo pad or something? Like Brillo. That, to help get the harder pieces off, but dip some more ash in there. Already did the oven. Swirl it around, swirl it around. Yeah, it's recording. Alright, let me get another wet, clean paper towel. I'll show you I'm wetting another one. I'm not adding any chemicals. So my, wife is, my wife is scrubbing a little bit harder, but I just want to show that if you just lightly do it, how it will clean it. Let's take this off. Wipe off the residual. Now we'll get the, uh, what you're seeing is on the other side. Get that all cleaned up. Let me get it dry paper towel. This is no chemicals, there's no smell or anything. You see just how clean that is? This is on this side. This other stuff is on the other side. So I flipped the toaster up on the side so I can get better pressure on here. And uh, I didn't even put any, it's just whatever residual on this pad. Because uh, uh, I didn't get enough ash. ash on here and this is how you clean your oven uh, window or your toaster oven window or your cooking oven one or if you have a fireplace that has uh, glass you can uh, clean your fireplace too this is coming off and just have to really put pressure on this hard area. It's hard to scrub and hold the camera and film at the same time. Yeah, my wife's holding it. But uh, I'm not going to clean it perfect. I just want to show you just how easy it is to clean. It's, uh, if I had like a scotch bright, it would be even better. Like even here, you can see it's on the... I didn't even scrub that, I just... Residual. Let's clean that stainless steel off with the residual ash on here. No harsh chemicals. No smell. No smell at all whatsoever unless Whatever you cook last on the barbecue, it does smell a little bit like barbecue chicken right now. Make you hungry. As you can see, the stainless steel. Look at that. Oh, that's what you're cooking. Oh, see that? Look at that stainless steel. How that stainless steel just pops, man. 
Let's put this toaster back down. And uh, look at the glass. Look how clean that is. Yep. Amazing. Let's do a before picture. And now this is just simple. This is like less than 10 minutes. Not even hard rough scrubbing. I mean I can clean this also with this residual here. And that will get that put cleaned before off. Before and put after right here. <laughs> yeah, before and then this is after. That's a brand new toaster oven. But, see that? We still got some here that can still do some more scrubbing. I just want to show you that you can do it with, you no know, chemicals. ash, no chemicals. Thanks for watching. Go, 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 go.